High school can be tough. We'll help you navigate some of the areas you need help with, including the college preparation process by providing advice for families. Every student is different and has a unique path. That's why we created this podcast. Our innovative and intentional approach builds confidence in the individual student. Listen each week to find out how students can score better on college placement tests with techniques and methods that build confidence, beat test anxiety, and identify strengths within each student. You're listening to Simply Smarter with hosts Caleb and Jill. Check out our blog at GetSmarterPrep.com for more college prep-related topics. I'm so excited for today's podcast because I get to interview and chat with one of my favorite students that has ever gone through Get Smarter Prep. Her name is Scout Webb, and I've known her since she was just a little toddler. Welcome to the podcast, Scout. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm so good, glad you could join us. Yeah, this is exciting. We get, we get our first student on the podcast. This is great. Yeah. It's so fun. Now, Scout, you are actually one of our online students, and you live in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it's 1045 Central Time, right? We're in Kansas City, and you are out of school, so that's amazing. Tell us a little bit about how you got such a crazy, fun schedule. Um, well, I am taking some college classes at the local college in Bartlesville, and I'm also at the tech school, and so my school just counted them at um, high school credits. So I'm really just taking an hour and a half at the high school. That is so cool. I wish I would have done that when I was in high school. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I know, right? A little flexibility. That's great. Yes. Yeah. Done by 1045. Hit the coffee shop. Done. Yeah. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about yourself, some of your interests, what you do, um, some hobbies that you have, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, well, I'm a senior in high school, and this year I'm student body vice president at my school. Nice. So I'm super active in student council. Um, I'm also really active with, like, our student section and um, just, like, school spirit in general. Um, I'm at the marketing program at Tech, and that's probably, like, the highlight of my day. Awesome. It's so fun, and um, everyone there is just so nice. Um, I like to paint a lot, and... Really just like to hang out with my friends as much as I can. Yeah? That's kind of it, yeah. Cool. What do you like to paint? Um, honestly, literally anything. My friends like to send me pictures that they take where they go, and I just like paint them like whenever I'm bored. Oh, my so gosh. I have, like, wow. a painting of like um, an Alaskan sunset, I guess. Like my friend went to Alaska, and he sent me a picture of it, and I was like, okay, I'll paint that if you want. And he was like, yeah, do it. That's so cool. I'm like sitting in my room. Yes, you're going to have to send me a picture of that. That's so awesome. Oh, I definitely will. It's so nice. I love it. So cool. It took me like six months to do because I just kept correcting it. Yeah, (laughs) of course. Perfectionist. (laughs) And Scout, tell us a little bit about uh, Welcome Week. Wasn't this the first one ever? That was so fun. So uh, we met before school started, as our our host to go met. And we decided that we wanted to have a welcome week. We've never had one before. Um, and it's just a way for us to like welcome new students to our school, new teachers or freshmen. And so we had like an event every single day of the week. Like one day, freshmen could pay a dollar to um, tape their principles to the wall. It's kind of really fun to watch. That is fun. Um, we raised like $100 for Mad Week, which is Make a Difference Week, and that's in March. And all the proceeds for that, that week goes to um, like a charity that we choose. Um, but we also had like, we started a big little program that week where we have seniors sign up to mentor a freshman. Um, isn't that super fun? It's like cool to see how everything's like moving along. Yeah. Um, yeah, just going. Really nice. Absolutely. Yeah, you've had a busy start to the school year. Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> That's so important though to invest in the younger students. I mean, they always look up to the seniors, and so it's always fun to have the seniors kind of look out for their freshmen and the younger classmen. Yeah, I just remember as a freshman, I felt super like not like secluded in the school, but like I I didn't know what was going on really. Yeah. And so like we should try to get freshmen as involved as they can. No, that's super important. That's great. Very cool. Awesome. Very good. Good for you. Well, I want to talk a little bit about our history and how you and I know each other because, like I said, we've known each other for so, such a long time. Um, in college, by the way, you were like the cutest baby. <laughs> I used to take pictures of you all the time for my photography class. <laughs> Which oh, I kind of. 
Like my mom printed it out, and it's a yes. Me and Jimmy. Yeah, with the white shirt. Yes, it was on your porch. Yeah, yeah. I know. I love it. It's literally right in front of me. That's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I used to take pictures of her all the time and we just had the best time. She was like my little buddy. Um, But yeah, I signed up to babysit on this piece of paper that everyone was passing around. And I think it was like the dorm mom that said, if you want to babysit, go ahead and sign up your name. So my friend and I did and we actually put like two extra stars by our name because we're like, no, they need to know like we're really interested. Really interested. Yeah. Double star interested. Double star day. I didn't even know Starbucks back then. So (laughs) double star. No idea. Idea. Um, so then she called me and said, well, I noticed you're very interested because you had two stars. <laughs> like I am. And so she directed me to your mom, Rhonda, and we kind of went from there and I started cleaning your house and um, then started babysitting you and then doing both. And then, you know, your family would go on trips and I would watch you for like a week. It was so fun. I was like a little mom yeah. back then. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it was really fun just to get to hang out with you and you were such a cool little kid back then. And, um, of course your brother was there too. And he's what, five years older than you or four? Five. Yeah. Five. Yeah. That's what I thought. So, so that was fun too. And my, at the time boyfriend, now my husband, JT, you know him, um, he would come and play with Jimmy and they would like, you know, play soccer and throw the ball around and play basketball. And it was just such a fun time. You guys were a big part of, um, my life back then. So yeah, it was really fun. And your mom was, my mom and dad were so sweet and like my own mom and dad basically. So, um, (laughs) really good time, really good time in my life. So that's how Scout and I know each other. And then, um, just, a what a month and a half ago or so um scout your mom Rhonda reached out and said you know scout would really like to have a little bit more direction with her ACT prep you know what is your advice and I said oh I got you girl I got (laughs) you so I directed Rhonda to Caleb (laughs) and here I am and here we are (laughs) So, yes. The um, plot thickens. Right, exactly. So now we're doing online tutoring with Caleb and Scout. And tell me a little bit how that's been going. Me? Yeah, yes. let's defer to you first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's been going really good. We meet about once a week for like an hour and a half. Um, and it's been really good. We do have some issues with my wife, friend, so that's kind of it. Um, <laughs> Um, I think it's it's been really good. It's helped a lot, I think, um, because I took the ACT three different times before I started tutoring. Okay. And I got the same score all three times. Yeah. Which is so fun. Yeah. Um, So fun, right? A little frustrating, to say the least. And then, so I think, I'm taking this ACT this Saturday at my tech school, and um, I feel super, um, like, ready for that. Good. Um, I'm excited for you to take it. I think you're way more ready than you've ever been. Yes, for sure. Good. Especially in like the English section and like the reading and stuff like that. Like we focus a lot on reading English, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. So share yeah. a little bit, Caleb, about her just individual scores, how they've gone up and a little bit more consistent as well. Absolutely. That, that's one of the things that was my goal because, Scout, you remember your scores were you had the same composite score but the sub scores were kind of kind of all over the place a little oh. bit right yeah they're fluctuating a lot yeah there's a lot of fluctuation there so one of my big goals right from the beginning was to make sure that we we built some consistency so that our your, your score could kind of rise all all across the board right and and yeah. again you don't even know your results yet but you're up quite a bit in English and math and you kind of called it with reading and science you started feeling some fatigue in there um which is kind of why we have the practice test mm-hmm. so that you get experience of that before you go in and take it for the for the real yeah. um, the real time so uh it's yeah. just been exciting to see your growth and it's been fun working with you and i'm going to tear up a little bit because it's our last week working <laughs> together oh shoot <laughs> I know. We're here. We're meeting tomorrow. We're going to meet on Thursday. It's crazy. So much. (laughs) So crazy. So much. You guys are like besties. Scout, I, one of my favorite one of my favorite stories is the second time we met Scout Scout was like 
looking at her materials that we mailed to her so mm-hmm. that she, so that she was working through get smarter oh, prep oh. materials and what happens gal um i was like i think i recognize this girl in the front of the book <laughs> and he was like what do you mean and i was like no i know her like how do i know her and then i was like wait i went to camp with her for the past like three years no yeah. way I can't it's elizabeth shoemaker yeah. yes yes that's so funny yeah. a little little shout out to elizabeth hey it's so weird. I was like, you have no she's on the cover of my book right now. That is insane. I, I could have, when you first said it, I was like, uh, I'm pretty sure, I, maybe she just looks familiar. Like, right. maybe there's, she's a familiar face. She's so fun and nice herself. But, she's like, no, and then you're like, no, it's a little bit shoemaker. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. How do you know her? That was so weird. That's I loved so it. cool. So you went to uh, Canacook camp with her, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. We met like, um, I want to say like three or four years ago at camp, and then we were just in the same cabin for the past three years. Like, just happened to be in there. That is so cool. That's fun. I love yeah. that. Small world. Seriously. Oh, for sure. Oh, gosh. Crazy. So, um, what are your thoughts about prepping online with Caleb and this experience as opposed to how you prepared for the other three ACTs um, by yourself? Um, mm, I think for the other three, I kind of just, like my brother got a super high score on ACT. Mm-hmm. And so I thought I was just going to naturally get just a super high score. Um, and so the first like two times I was doing it, I didn't really study that much. I kind of went over like maybe the day before or like two days before. Um, and like I was watching YouTube videos on like tricks to get ACT and stuff like that. Um, and obviously that didn't really work that well. Um, uh, I obviously did not get that high of a score. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the third time I tried to study for like a month or two before, but it wasn't like, really consistent and I didn't know what to study for exactly. Um, and then I remember when my mom told me she signed me up, I was like, I don't need tutoring mom. Like I'm fine. I'll <laughs> <laughs> um, and then like before our first meeting, I was like, this isn't going to help at all. Like literally like there's no like whatever I don't know and then like our first meeting like Caleb was talking about like how the ACT is made up of like or the people who make ACT like a bunch of psychologists and they're like um like trying to like test your brain not really like what you know but like more of like how I don't know like how you do mm-hmm. yeah sure test I guess if that that's makes it. sense Definitely. and so like that I was like oh wait he's actually teaching me stuff that's nice <laughs> um, and so then I was like, okay, I like it. Um, and I think it's helped a lot just with like being consistent because I am a horrible studier and I never study. Like I always procrastinate the night before. Um, but I think it's good to have consistent. Like every single Wednesday at three thirty, I know I'm going to be calling Caleb and like we're going to be talking to ACT for an hour and a half. Like it's just super consistent. Um, with a good schedule and stuff like that. Cool. Very nice. So your mom didn't even tell you that she was signing you up? <laughs> well, she's like, I talked to Jill, and I was like, you mean my babysitter? And then she was, yeah, she went for this, like, ACT company. And I was like, oh, I forgot she's, like, not in college anymore. And then, right. uh, <laughs> a continuous <laughs> student. Like that. Uh, but, and then I was like, oh, okay, like, if you really think I need that, I kind of thought she was calling you dumb for a little bit. Aww. <laughs> I don't think that was it. I think she just saw potential and I was not. Absolutely. Not hard. Absolutely. For sure, for sure. Hey, Scout, will you share with us your experience? Because when you took the test the first three times, two of them were on paper, like most students take the test. Oh, my. Yeah. But the middle time was computer-based, right? Yeah. Tell, tell, tell us about that experience. Not a lot of people have done um, that so far. So that is... So I personally like the paper way more than the computer. And so, like, because everything I've learned in my high school or middle school, like, career has been on paper or, like, mm-hmm. I've been writing it down and stuff like that. So when they told me I had to do it on the computer, I was like, how do you expect me to do, like, transition the math work onto paper or, like, right. you know, yeah. stuff like that. Um, so. Was it, was, um, it, was it as bad as you kind of expected? Or was it... Pleasantly the, the functional. Test really bad, but I'm glad I took writing on the computer because, like, 
I type all the time Mm -hmm. on my computer, on my phone. So I think that helps that section. Sure. But because every other part, like all my math classes have been on paper and then all my English and um, science classes have been on paper. Like I've never used a computer for any of that stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, Just to brag. Just to brag on you for a second, you said that that writing went pretty well. What do you what do you mean it went by pretty well? What do you get? <laughs> I got I got a ten in that section. A yeah, you did. Ninety ninth percentile, rocking That's it. Really yeah. good. I have never it. seen a student um, come through like on their practice test. I've never seen a ten. Mm. When I, and when I saw that, I was like, "Whoa, that's really high, isn't it, Caleb?" Really He's strong. like, "Yeah, that's extremely high." So kudos Thanks. to I you. All that, and I really don't. I think the the prompt I had was something that happened to me like in my childhood. It's about listening to music while I study, mm-hmm. and I remember my daddy yelling at me like not to do that. And so like my <laughs> whole essay was about how it depends on like how you were raised and like what you were like raised around and grown around and stuff like that. And yeah. I guess they just liked that. So interesting. interesting. I yeah. kind of just ranted in my essay. <laughs> That's kind of what they're looking for, to be kind of honest. Yeah. 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 Good. I keep on thinking about that when I'm applying for college because I'm like, I don't know what to write about for any of these college essays. And I'm like, maybe I should just find something to rant about. <laughs> something that you're passionate about. Yeah, it is, right. <laughs> It yeah. is. Exactly. Well, tell us a little about what, what your goals are for this test on Saturday, as well as, um, you know, some of the schools that you're looking at. Um, so for this Saturday, I'm hoping, like, to get at least, like, above, um, like, a 25, 26. I think last time I took the practice test, I got, I think I 23. I don't know. Caleb would know. Mm-hmm. But um, I got, it was... I keep going up. That's good. But I think I just like focus and stuff like that. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of the mistakes I made on the practice test we took were just like silly mistakes and me overthinking. So mm-hmm. I just need to focus on not overthinking and um, all the stuff that kids taught me really. But you're, you're not um, alone in I that need, world either. Most students overthink on the test yeah. for sure. Yeah. Come yeah. Um, but so my two colleges I'm looking at, like my two main ones are University of Arkansas and University of Oklahoma, the so OU and Arkansas. Yeah. And Arkansas, I can get in-state tuition if I get either 28, 26, or 24, depending yeah. on how much percent of in-state I want. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> any of those numbers I'm fine with, really. Right. Um, and then OU, um, I've talked to them a lot lately about um, just being a PLC and um, just like going to OU in general. And they are talking to me like, you have everything else to get into school. You just need a higher ACT. And yeah. I was like, okay, so what number? And they're like, yep. literally anything around a 25 would really get you in or 24. Awesome. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. Yeah. No, those are really great goals and, you know, they're doable. It's not like you're looking at a huge, huge increase. It's just, you know, stick to your strategies and focus and, you know, try to relax. And I think you'll, you'll do great. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been fun. Thanks for joining us, Scout. This has been great. (laughs) Good job. <laughs> um, one other thing, I just wanted to tell you a quick story. Um, so I was watching Scout one time, and they kind of live on the outskirts of town, and they had their playground um, kind of towards the back, you know, of their property towards the woods. Um, and <laughs> again, I was taking pictures of her. <laughs> as I normally did and she was going across the monkey bars and through my lens I saw there was a large black rat snake like underneath do you remember that I thought that was a dream no no, that was real life like I thought I made that up in my mind oh my gosh no (laughs) so that was real so I saw and I had like I took a picture and then after I took the picture is when I saw it so I flung the camera over my shoulder and I was like okay come on scout come on come on like keep going (laughs) and I grabbed you as soon as I could grab you and like started running towards the house and um there was a guy mowing the yard who was a fellow um he he was at the college with me um a fellow student and I I ran up to him and I was like Lance Lance there's this huge snake and you know in Oklahoma it's well what color is it and he's I said it's just it's black it's really big just come kill it he's like but it's just black 
black? I'm like, yes, it's black. And I think I had you like in the football hold. I mean, I was, I just grabbed you <laughs> and arm. started running. <laughs> um, and he, he did, it was like a five foot black rat snake. And yeah. I am absolutely terrified of snakes. So terrified. this is like my worst nightmare. And he did, he killed it. Um, and, you know, he was our hero. And then your mom came home and I was like, oh, Rhonda, you'll never guess what <laughs> happened. We saw this na- this nasty snake, you know, but don't worry, Lance killed it. And she's like, oh, it wasn't the six foot snake, was it? And I'm like, wait, oh, what? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> she's like, no, they're good for the, for the rats and the mice. They keep them out of the, you know, the house area. And I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> You've got to be joking me. <laughs> so, yeah, but I just, I have the picture. Um, I'll have to send it to you because it. my kids yeah, actually really like to look at it. Because it's bizarre. It's, it's like, great. it's like a huge snake on the ground. And I have like, Lance with like a shovel or like yes. a fork of stuff in it or something. Yes. That's exactly yeah. what happened. Yeah, so that was not I a dream. I really thought I had a dream and I made that up in my mind. No, it was totally <laughs> real. Oh my gosh. Totally real. But wow. you were never afraid of animals. I mean, you guys had like the biggest dogs. Oh, yeah. And even as like a two, three year old, you would just roll all over the. What do you have? Bull, uh, bull mastiffs? Yeah. Or English. English, English mastiffs. Yeah. Yes. And they're ass- like a huge. They're just huge. Yeah. You would just roll yeah. all over them. Yeah around 185 yes wow insane yeah. so really good memories yes. good memories well thank you we had two, didn't we yes yeah bella yeah, and bella yes yep yep two yeah. at the same time yeah they would come around <laughs> the house and like roo, 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 like this deep deep <laughs> howl <laughs> they were sweet though really really sweet so well thank you so much for being on the podcast yeah thank you for having me yes you are gonna kill it on saturday just go in there with you know full of confidence and use your strategies you'll do great i know you will i hope so (laughs) you will you will see caleb's your tutor he says you will we'll make sure we build that confidence yes and i know you you will do great you will okay thank you all right girl we'll have a good day we'll talk to you soon all right. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Join us next week as Caleb and I discuss five key strategies our tutors use throughout the ACT. We'll dive into each strategy within every section of the test. You don't want to miss it. And as always, if you like our podcast, let us know by giving us a five-star review and leaving a positive comment. See you next week.